Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Liam, it's a pleasure, my friend. Happy New Year. Um, how are we today? Yeah, very good. Um, down here, a bit of uh, talking. Shame prone at one here to have a bit of back and forth. But yeah, it's all good fun. Just come home from Tenerife in training and uh, back now, two months. Can keep pushing hard and uh, got a big fight. World IBO world title, so biggest one to date. Do you know if he's English speaking at all? If you say talking, like would we have got some Liam Davis, Argentinian, some Spanish, whatever, he, whatever language we're talking? Yeah, to be fair, he probably don't speak English, does he? But um, I can see it, a bit of like Telford mixed in with some Argentinian maybe. It never caused a problem with the Spanish baluta, did it, True. before? So <laughs> it was still good fun. Um, talk to me about how this opportunity came about, obviously the IBO world title. Um, we know what significance and weight that holds. Talk to me about how the opportunity to fight for that belt came about for you. Well, obviously I'm British European champion, so... I think it was the next step up. All the other belts are tied up. So uh, this was the next best thing. My team put it forward and as always, I'm like, yeah, just want to fight. Just just wanted the date and uh, Eric Robles was the name. IBO title was on the line, so made sense. And we're here two months out now, counting down the days till uh, probably the biggest one of my career and the biggest win I'm sure it'll be. Yeah, it's going to be a wicked night and another wicked, magnificent seven card. Um, I know you're the sort of person, like you said, who will take a fight that's put in front of you. This is the next logical step. But even if it wasn't this, there isn't really a fight out there that I can imagine you're going to look at and go, no. Nah, of course. I'm open to any of them. Um, I thought at one point it was going to do the Blue rematch. This is, um, Would you still be open to that, even though it's a job that's been done before? Yeah, me. I was open to anything. It was... It was like more my manager, the people that have been in the game, they're like, it don't really make sense. I don't think it made sense to TNT Sports. So they were like, you won comfortably last time. So, But yeah, it was more just, I never really roll off who it is. More just getting a date, keeping busy. And like I say, you get one career, I want to be as active, busy as I can. 27 years old and uh, but like, these are my prime years. So I've got to make them count, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, prime years. Um, if we're looking at the last 18 months, what a time and kind of the way you've maximised your time with the fights, the, how exciting the fights have been for starters, the belts you've won, the names you've beat. Um, you must be absolutely loving the last couple of years because, dare I say, it couldn't have gone much better for, for yourself. Uh, nah, it could have. You were just going to say you couldn't have hit the deck last time out, I guess. Nah, nah, not even that. That was a proper shootout, like entertainment factor. That was a cracker. Yeah, it was a good fight to watch, but... Come a long way. Remember when we done the interview for the Leech one in Telford like two years ago? Do you know what I mean? So that was like, you've come a long way, but... I remember you said to me, you was like, fuck fighting Anui. But now I know you're like, yeah, I want to fight Anui. Yeah, do you know what it is? Everyone like says you're daft and that. When you fought all your life, I'm, I'm fighting, worked all my life to do this boxing. I fight Anui. One, I've got everything to gain, nothing to lose. And two, I'm going to change my life. My miss, my wife's never gonna work again. Do you know what I mean? So, it's like uh, everything to gain, nothing to lose. And people say you're daft, but most of these people ain't got a clue about boxing. And I've never been knocked spark out, so they reckon that's the man could do it. I'd love, love to uh, see it because it's mad. I think it's like pretty impossible. But we'll see. I mean, don't write it off the way the boxing's going at the moment. Um, what sort of fight are you expecting in the ring stylistically with, with Robles? I think Robles comes forward. He's very game. He's Mexican, likes to throw a lot. And uh, he likes to outwork you. But I think that could be his downfall. I'm a very good counter puncher. I'm strong. And um, I, 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 he's 23 years old. I'm a grown man. And I think... He will find it tougher than he did last time he come to these shores. Yeah, I kind of get the sense that we might be getting a really, really good fight between between you two. Um, just looking at the press conference table up there, um, and I obviously Dev mentioned it, we've got you and Dennis sitting at the same table, a fight that's been touted, a fight we obviously would all love to see. 
Um, sitting up there, but not quite against each other just yet. Um, but I get a sense it's kind of closing in, you and him. Well, you got more of a sense than me. I'm not too sure. I hope, hopefully, if he wins. Is that, is that because the threat that Brad poses in, in that fight? Nah, not in that, but I just heard no talking about the fight happening. Obviously, I'm all open ears, but hopefully the soon, sooner it happens. It's a massive fight. I think it's probably the biggest fight in the super bantamweight division in Britain, no doubt about. And, um, yeah, I hope, I, hope, I hope it can happen soon. I generally do. I like Dennis. He's a very respectful young man. We've got mutual respect, and uh, hopefully they can make the fight happen soon. I think it'll be a great fight. I 100% agreed with, with everything you say there. Uh, right, Liam, appreciate you giving me your time. Just one final thing. I know I guess we'll get one on fight week. and um, But, yeah, what's your prediction for, for this fight? Knockout. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Get a sign-up bonus of 200% up to $25,000 when joining today. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Vote for IFL in this year's Sports Podcast Awards. Go to www.sportspodcastgroup.com and vote for us in Best Combat Sports Podcast and the Diverse Voices Awards categories. IFL Pod, available across all major streaming platforms now.